Okay, hello guys. I am here to show you guys just a little bit of a trick. Um, and this will be how to um, basically just clean your old keyboard that you might have gotten from a yard sale. Probably looks really raggedy and old. Um, and all of a sudden you realize that you have sticky keys, which sucks. I know for me, it's the space bar. When you press it down, it doesn't come back up. You have to pull it out. And the same thing was happening with my uh, up key on the number pad, or the 8. And now I have fixed it. So today I will be showing you how to just really quick and easy fix all this. So it, it, the entire keyboard could be sticky. It doesn't even matter. So basically, this is what you'll need. You will need a regular screw, screwdriver. I suggest a very tiny one or even a flathead kind of like this, it's really small, as small as you can get it, and you'll want something to clean it with, I'm just using this regular Expo whiteboard here, um, cleaning solution, it's really not corrosive or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about it eating up the plastic, which sometimes cleaners will do, just a raggedy old sock, if I could use the word raggedy one more time in this video, that would be awesome. Yeah, just use this sock. This is really old. I picked it up off the ground somewhere. Don't worry. Alright, so first thing you want to do is take your screwdriver and whichever key, we'll, we'll start with that. Whichever key is sticking, that's the one you'll want to pop off. And don't be afraid about doing this, guys. Now, I will warn you, some, some keyboards are not meant to be taken apart this way. So you may have to unscrew it on the bottom. See all these screw holes everywhere. I'm not going to really take it apart because I don't need to. But if you find that the keys don't really budge that easily, I would go ahead and take it apart and make sure that this is the actual type of keyboard that can be taken apart like that. But basically, you want to take the batteries out as soon as possible because you don't want to be working on this thing. And then all of a sudden, you go to turn it back on and it is not working because you got something wet. So we want to take the batteries out if it's corded then just unplug it. I do not suggest cleaning a keyboard like this if that keyboard is something like an RGB keyboard. I suggest looking up a different tutorial for something like that. This is just for old keyboards or just Logitech keyboards, things like that. I don't know where this button was. I got this keyboard at, at a yard sale and I feel like that mute button was there at some point. First thing we want to do, I my spacebar is not working. So if your spacebar is having trouble, do not just try to pry it open like that because it's a long key and you might break it. First, take the alt key or whatever key is beside it out just by prying it, kind of like a crowbar, and it'll come right out. And as you can see, I'm going to try to focus this. I don't really have light, but as you can see there, there's a lot of crap in there. It's just hair and just nasty everywhere. There's, there's light. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just, it is destroyed. Okay. Alright, so we're going to put that key aside. We don't really need it right now, but we are going to be cleaning it. Alright, so now we want to get this, uh, this space bar out. Okay. So go ahead and put your hand above it when you're prying. And when when you're going to pry the space bar, I suggest just grabbing it and then moving your screwdriver over a little bit so you can get farther over to the center. And you just want to pull on it until it comes out. And the reason we did that is because there's just one connector in the very center. So if we just did it from over here, we could risk breaking it right here. Just right now. So it looks like there's a mechanism of some sort on here, so we'll want to make sure that we get that back in correctly. It probably wasn't in all the way, and that's why it was sticking. So if you have some sort of weird rotating connector that's in here, don't worry, it can, it can be put back. Basically, you just want to make sure that you get that back in. It's probably as simple as just putting the... I, I doubt you can see what I'm looking at right now, but you can probably just put the screwdriver under the connector to make sure it doesn't move while you're trying to put it on. Alright, so that looks like it's in focus. 
Now I'm just talking about this right here, this connector. You can see it moving. And as you can see, this keyboard is so freaking dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. This keyboard is so dirty, it's not even funny. Look at all that crap. How does that even get in there? That doesn't make any sense, but we're gonna clean that. Alright, so we got that uh, space bar out. I just wanted to get that out of there right away because it was probably just not gonna work if we didn't get it out. You don't have to take the space bar out right away, but I did because it was the first key that was sticking, so I'll just set that aside. You want to keep your keys relatively organized. I suggest as you take them off, I put them in a fashion where you can, as you can see, I think. <laughs> As you can see, I just kind of put my uh, my keys relatively in the same order that they were in on the keyboard, and that way I can keep them separated. Because things like the arrow keys, where you have a lot of basically the same key, you're gonna have different connectors for each key, but they all look the same, so you have no idea what order they go in unless you put them in that order right off the bat. So I suggest doing that. All right, so now we're gonna go for the other alt key. Put your uh, screwdriver underneath it, you pry it, make sure to put your hand over it or it will fly out of here and you will never see that key again. <laughs> Alright, and now I'm just going to do a little bit of a sped up version of me taking all of, the, all of the function keys off like control, start, shift, all of those. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all of the function keys off um, just on the bottom of the keyboard. And I'm not talking about these function keys, guys. These I'm not even going to take out. If you have a sticky key here, you're going to have to take the keyboard apart. And good luck to you, sir. Because I, I just want to warn you guys. I don't know if you can see down in there. But inside each of these holes for the keys, there's a white, bouncy little ball or something in there. And those things will come out. And I, I took a previous keyboard apart because I thought there was something wrong with it that really wasn't so that was a shame but anyway these little white things in here they kind of look like bubbles if you take this keyboard apart and you rattle it too much those things will fall out you will never find them again let me just tell you <laughs> they they are so oh my gosh they're, they're tiny they're soft and they're kind of transparent so you can lose them so easily. Oh my goodness, I, I can't even tell you how many times I find these little things laying around my room. I'm like, what in the world? So yeah. Okay, so, as you can see, I have all of my function keys out. And as you can see here, I need to stop using that phrase, but right here, there's another one of those little mechanisms It kind of rotates in its chassis and I guess it's just for bigger keys the enter key will probably have one the backspace will probably have one I would I would imagine this one would have one and both of these would have one so now I am going to take all of my QWERTY keys off all right. oh and sorry for this cord guys this is my microphone cord I had to put my microphone in a little bit of a strange place to be able to record all of this hope you guys don't mind I'm going to take all my QWERTY keys, which is just the letter keys, and I'm going to put them all in the generally same area. I'm not going to put them on my desk because I'll show you. As you can see, it's kind of difficult to keep them all in the same place or even in, an, uh, in order for that matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a different platform to put them on. That way they can all have plenty of room to be spaced out and not be running into each other whenever I move something. So I will be right back with that. Okay, so now I have a little bit of a table going on here. Go ahead and show you this. There's a giant table right there. Hello! <laughs> There's a table right there. And I'm going to be setting my keys in order facing me so that I can just take them and put them back whenever I need to. or I can keep them organized just on this table right here. So that would be nice. 
we're going to start taking these QWERTY keys off. And I just say QWERTY to signify the Q W E R T Y um, for the first uh, six letters. And so, here we go. So, I've run into my first problem. I was using uh, this little bar right here and sometimes these things as leverage so that I could just do it, take it off. But as you can see, it's kind of not really working because I don't have enough leverage. So, maybe if I go over here or something. No, that's not going to work. So, what I'm thinking is I'll have to take the tab out so that I can get to these keys. Okay, so before I uh, continue, I've just realized that my microphone is working, but it's not recording anything. And I do have a shotgun mic on, uh, mounted on the camera, but I was hoping to use my blue snowball right here. But I guess it's not actually recording right now, even though I hit record. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll fiddle with it for a second, see if I can't get it to start working. That's kind of annoying. So, I've got my, uh, my, my microphone recording now. Um, I don't know why it stopped. Uh, maybe I accidentally quit something, I don't know. But, it's working now. So, hopefully you guys won't kill me too much for having, I don't know, 22 minutes into the video and not very good audio. Or at least for me it's 22 minutes. I don't know about post, but anyway. Sorry about the audio if it wasn't that great. I don't know, I haven't actually tested out the shotgun mic that is attached to this microphone, or microphone, to this camera. So hopefully that isn't too bad, but... I think I know for a fact that this microphone is much better than the shotgun mic, so I do apologize for that. Um, however, if the shotgun mic actually is somehow better audio, then I'll probably just use it for future videos, but I doubt it's going to be better. So anyway, let's crack on. Okay, so I've got all the QWERTY keys done. Um, I might go ahead and take the new, the uh, numerics out, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and clean what I have available to me. So let's go ahead and look at this for a second. I just wanna show you guys all the crap that's on here. I don't even know if you can see it in the video, but basically, this is just disgusting. It really is. This is. This is just absolutely disgusting. I don't even know what to say about this. I've been using this keyboard for a while now, like, I don't know, a month. And I got, I just got tired of the sticky key. Um, and I never imagined that it would actually be dirty in there. I mean, I, I should have, but I didn't. <laughs> so that's, that's strange. Um, that is so, so stinking dirty. But anyway, we're going to crack on with cleaning this thing. So here's where you want to get nitty gritty. I'm going to use my other screwdriver for this part. The uh, red one that I had earlier. Um, I was going to use that as my uh, key remover, but I decided against it because I wanted something to be able to clean with. Um, I do suggest... Uh, that you have more than one um, screwdriver laying around. You could even use a giant Phillips for this part, I think. Unless you have little tiny parts like I do. So, yeah, that probably won't end well. But anyway, you want to take your sock, 
and your screwdriver. Actually, lay your screwdriver aside for just a second. You got your sock, your weird old sock that you really don't care about, and you got your uh, whiteboard cleaner, which is not corrosive to plastic, so that is good. Okay, and you're just gonna spray that sock a little bit. Don't spray the keyboard itself because you don't want that stuff inside of the keyboard. That that would not be good. But if it does, just wait like I don't know, two hours after you clean the uh, keyboard in order to plug it back in again, and that should give it enough time to dry. So we're gonna keep spraying this thing a little bit. Right, so now we have our uh, handy dandy screwdriver. We're gonna just poke it through until you can see it poking, okay? Just like that, where the, where the wet spot is. And you just wanna go as hard as you can. And then you're gonna use this kind of like a pencil. And you're just gonna scrape in between the tiny, the tiny bits, alright? Okay, so we're just gonna go in here. We're gonna go through all of this crap that's in here. If you wanna be a little bit more thorough than I am, you can uh, uh, take these keys out as well. But I really don't need to at the moment. I will later, but at the moment, I'm just gonna clean this part. And watch. As you can see, immediately, immediately it has this crap here. Look at that. That is terrible. Ugh, that is so nasty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry guys. I'm just getting a little bit grossed out. Oh my gosh, that is so disgusting. That is so disgusting, guys. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna keep going. Even though I don't want to. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna show you guys again all the crap that's coming out of here. Ugh, that makes me want to puke. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get it in focus. Okay, I think it's good. Alright, so at this point guys, I just, I just wanna stop, but I know I can't. Ugh, I dove head first into this. This is really important, guys, that you do this because nobody wants sticky keys and nobody wants crap in their keyboard. Think about it. Every time you go to press down on the key, you're probably touching a little bit of it. Ugh. It's nasty. Again, guys, use some sort of spray. It's not corrosive. Corrosive. Because it, it will help you clean this crap out. Oh no, my camera battery is low. Oh crud, my camera just died. I'm actually doing ex external audio. I, I had that thing on the charger for so freaking long. Alright, hold on guys. Okay, so that's about all I can do over here. Um, before uh, going over it again with a better sock. So I am going to have to get a clean one in order to just tidy it up a little bit. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these monstrosities off and hopefully not die. Okay, so I'm, uh, sorry about the creaks in my chair, guys. It's so loud. I really need a new one. Anyway. Um, this crap that's sitting in here, although it is very disgusting, you might be surprised to realize that it's not the cause of sticky keys. Okay? This is definitely disgusting and this should not be in your keyboard, but it's definitely not the result, uh, not the cause of sticky keys. Sticky keys is the result of this part getting all messed up the actual key itself inside where it's, it rests inside of these uh, little cubes okay most keyboards are built like this not not the higher brand ones um, the higher brand ones they have little stems sticking up 
they're called uh, switches um, some have brown switches some have red switches uh, I, I will be getting an RGB cor uh, keyboard sorry um, eventually but right now I just don't have the money for it so um, I guess we will just keep going anyway but yeah um, oh, oh no gotta follow my own advice <sighs> okay I got it Whew. okay so surprisingly enough these three keys do not have the me same mechanism as this one and this one I thought they would because they're so large about the same size as the uh, shift key but I, su I suspect that things like this or this may have it but I don't know yet this one's proving difficult um, let me see if I can just pull it up no I can't goodness not work. Maybe if I use this one, that looks cleaner. So maybe if I use this guy. Yeah, there it is. You may need a fatter screwdriver, kind of like this. Just the handle needs to be fatter. Um, if you uh, are having trouble prying it out. Oh gosh. I end up watching myself in the camera. So then I, I end up losing the key because I'm watching what I'm doing in the camera and not what I'm actually doing in reality, I guess. I, I don't know. That's Inception right there. What is reality? All right, so everything is out. Oh, gosh. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a definite difference between the keys I've already done and the keys I haven't done yet. Okay. Alright, so now I just want to show, oh gosh. Now I just want to show you guys what I've got cooked up over here. This is basically just my keyboard laid out exactly how it was over here because I don't want to get it confused because some some keys don't fit where you might think they do kind of like the um, in a minute kind of like the arrow keys this arrow key will not fit in this arrow key slot and this arrow key will not fit in this arrow key slot because each of these keys is shaped differently physically so you cannot put this one here because uh, here because you know it's kind of like the property of square can't go in a circle so all right so now I'm gonna head to work on getting this done So the entirety of this area is finished so to me I'm done but to you guys you may want to do like the uh, the number pad slot which is completely fine it's just as easy as doing these um, for me I, I fixed my number eight key which is just amazing I was really getting annoyed by not being able to use my eight key um, and so yeah, everything is working there. Um, my space bar started to stick, so I just took it apart. And it was probably not connected correctly to this little lever um, right here. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and zoom in. I don't know if I've done it yet. So uh, let me unlock my tripod. So as you can see, 
there is just a slight mechanism here um, it attaches to the spacebar itself and basically you just snap it on with the uh, a screwdriver underneath it to make sure it stays on and that's basically it so yeah I'm gonna put all of this back together now okay I'm gonna put it all back together now and hopefully everything will be working nicely some of you may see there's still a little bit of gunk in here um, and I know that but I really don't care that much um, it's just a few crumbs here and there uh, and I'm not going to be that diligent about it mostly because these are really tiny spaces and it's really difficult to get in there and I don't want to devote that much to it so it's an old keyboard I won't be using it forever so I'm, I just want it to be usable that's basically it alright let's get to work on putting these keys back in <laughs> get these keys mi mixed up guys because then you'll be hitting say the G key and it'll write an F because you didn't keep them in a uh, correct order so you don't want that alright guys that's the end for this video unfortunately my tape ended but I wasn't really gonna record anything else anyway I was just gonna do a quick outro and instead of trying to get a new tape in there I'm just going to do an audible outro. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something from it. If you enjoyed the video or learned in this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos, gaming videos, tutorials, whatnot, please subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.